show your number one show for kids on television and radio and i am happy this morning that is why i asked our guests today to play h-a-p-p-y happy so you met our guest today i did not give you any um suspense i just let you meet our guest so our guest today is anyo bolu wanda the fantastic amazing percussionist and i'm so excited to have you on the show today thank you all right amazing kids my name is victory wilson but you can call me auntie victory and as you can see you already know i have a lot in store for you today but let's take a beautiful break and when we come back the show starts fully do not go anywhere amazing kids show Exclusive to Rhythm FM and Silver Bear TV. Rhythm FM and Silver Bear TV. Yes, welcome back, amazing kids. It's still your number one show for kids on television and radio, the Amazing Kids Show. And if you are listening to us on radio, you are tuned into your number one radio station, Rhythm 93.7 FM. And if you're watching us on TV, you're tuned into Silverbed TV and hooray, you can see me. You can see how excited I am this morning because I have a lot in store for you, like I said earlier on. And you know, no suspense today. Our guest was the one that opened the show with her fantastic skill. How are you doing, Ayobolo? I'm doing fine, thank you, Ma. Oh, are you excited to be on the show? Yes, I am. I am excited to have you. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> let's get into knowing you a bit more. So how old are you and how long have you been playing the talking drum? Because it plays so well. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> okay, I'm 18 years old and I started playing the talking drum three years ago. That was 2020. Oh, oh, and you know where I met you? I met Ayobolo at a kid's event and she played the talking drum. I gave you a standing ovation because she played to so many popular songs, you know. And I was like, this girl is so skilled. She has to come on the show. Thank you. So how did you develop that passion? Did you just sit down and say, I want to play the talking drum or um, something inspired you? Mm, well, okay. When I saw the talking drum, it was something like I've never seen it before. The guy said my eyes on it. It's like, ah. so this type of um, um, instrument is uh, available. I was like, wow. So I was just like, the way they were playing it, I was I saw it around my neighborhood when I was living before. I saw people playing it. Then I used to sing for them. Yeah. I'll sing for them, they'll keep playing. I was not like, we don't want to be playing what you're playing. I don't want to be singing again. You don't want to be singing. <laughs> oh, so you can sing. Yes, I do. Uh, give me a little bit of your voice. I've not heard you sing. You uh, are Yahweh, uh, Alpha, Omega. Uh, uh. You are Yahweh, Alpha, I am wearing, if you're watching me on TV, you see that I always wear a headpiece. So people are telling me that you should sing and play the talking drum at the same time. Ah. <laughs> you are you know that? Okay. talking drum do you have anyone you look up to yes 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 okay or you look forward to being like yeah so i look forward to first of all my senior that taught me which is which is um john olari waji okay so then like she gallery teenage people on instagram and okay. play okay i watch some amazing. of their videos sometimes amazing so where do you want to take this to like in the nearest future do you want to keep playing talking drum or what do you really want to be yes i know you're young i didn't even know you were eight. i thought you were younger you look <laughs> younger i thought you were like 15 14 <laughs> but it's still great but where do you want to take this to like um what do you want to be in the future for real okay well i want to be a lot <laughs> so first of all I'll be a drummer, a very popular and a very good talking drummer, which I'll be having my company by then. And I'll also be a musician, I'll be singing. Okay. So you really want to be me? Okay, and, 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 <laughs> and. <laughs> and by then I wish to play for a lot of celebrities. 
Okay, so it's all about music. Yes. So you still want to do music when you're older. Are you art science art. or art? Oh, okay, I see. So you're really dedicated to this music course. I yes, wish I you am. all the best. Thank but there's you. one question I always ask kids. And I think now that you're even older, you have a lot of advice to give my kids mm-hmm. to do. <laughs> right? First, let's, let's even get to it. When you started, was it hard? Is it easy to learn? Mm-hmm. When I started, it was easy for me because I had passion for it. Even though it's my when learning, it might be like you won't get this thing, but since I had a passion for it. So, what's the duration? For example, someone that wants to learn how to play the talking drum now and doesn't know jack, mm-hmm. doesn't know anything about talking drum too. So, what's the duration? Um, how long do you think the, the person needs to learn it for? It depends on the person's passion because all anything about this talking drum is rehearsal. The more you rehearse, the more you know. I might, I, I might have used like three years now. Like, okay, I'm playing the drum. There are some people that use the year and they're even good at, they're mm-hmm. good than me. And it gets better. It gets better by the day. Mm-hmm. So um, they might use a month and they'll be better within a month. Mm-hmm. So it depends. Amazing. Great. Great. But you started making money from this, right? Yes. You started making money. <laughs> <laughs> so you see what I always say is that let your kids do what they're passionate about, what they love doing. It just might yield money. But it, money should not be the main focus. But mm-hmm. it will definitely result to making money at the end of the day yeah, yeah. there's one question i always ask every kid that gets to sit on my chair if you had the opportunity to be the president of nigeria for one day what's the first thing you change uh first thing i'm going to change <laughs> i don't even know there are a lot of things to change i know okay. there are a lot okay let's start from the first thing and then you go to the lot ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes now you start from the first thing that you really want to change and then you tell me the rest okay okay like I would wish to change if they, they, I want food to be very, very available for everybody because people go hungry a lot. People and once hungry, yeah. we are not hungry, they'll be able to survive and do everything we want to do. Mm. Be able to work. But if you are hungry, if not, you don't even see any job opportunities. Mm. Then there's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. Fantastic. Okay, the next one. You said it's a lot. Like now, there is full scarcity. There shouldn't be. Uh, make sure there, is, there is nothing like that. Okay, what else? <laughs> I know, I have opportunities too. Like ah, I don't know about that one, but there are a lot of things I don't know. Okay, secure yeah. jobs. Mm-hmm. Secure jobs. Give people the opportunity, from. like helping them to make sure that to support their dreams. Mm, support because there are even a lot of people that are even rich that are not supporting people at all. But once you are the president, I don't know. There's a way that we'll be able to do that it will be actually a little bit equal i was going there so do you think i was going there that's the next question because you're older and i know that we can have that conversation i wanted to say that do you think that um talent talented kids get enough support for their skills in this part of the world and how do you think that things can be better for them you know talented kids like you that can play one or two things that have the gift of drawing artistry um they have talent um, that can sing, that are also gifted educational wise, mm-hmm. right? And we, we, we talk about the education part, you know, where somebody comes out as first in the whole school and mm-hmm. then they're given meager amount of money, mm-hmm. you know, or meager encouragement. So I think I'm answering the question. So do you think that, <laughs> do you think that kids, you know, talented kids, you know, not just people that play this, are encouraged enough? And what do you think can be done with all the things that I have listed, you know, educational wise and um, skill wise? Well, sometimes some people are not supported, and sometimes some people are supported. Mm. Yes. So, and those that are not supported, they are striving very hard to get mm. support everywhere and keep doing it. But everything just, every everything all together just is just based on God, God grace, God, like just keep praying to God. Once God do it for us, then. No mo- nobody can stop it. The support will come no matter how. Once we, we know God, the support will come. And what we can do to it, I'll just say that we'll keep, we won't give up, we'll keep doing it. That's what I'll just say about that. Okay. Mm-hmm. You did not answer my question, but it's, it's fine. I'm like, you don't get enough support, right, from okay. people. Mm-hmm. And what do you think can be done? Like, what do you think people should do as regards talented people? Ah, I'll tell them. And that. I mentioned educational wise, like you see okay. students that will graduate as first, mm-hmm. and then they they're given just small amount of money or small amount of encouragement. Okay, what do you okay, think okay. about it? What do you think that we can do better? Okay, 
So I'll tell people that are actually watching me right now that they should support them and they should help them. The more they encourage them, the more they want to do more. Like if they have been encouraged in a way they should be, they want to do more and like they don't want to give up that ah for these people to support me and do this thing for me, I have to do more, I have to give more. Mm-hmm. But if they're not supported, it kills the talent. It kills it. It kills the talent. So support goes a very, 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 long very way. long way. All right. So there's this beautiful video of Ayobolu playing the talking drum. I will not get enough. We will not get enough of her and her talking drum today. So it's going to be one word talking drum. One word <laughs> talking drum. So let's just go to that video. If you're watching on TV, you'll enjoy the video. And if you're listening on radio, you will hear the sound of her beautiful play. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. That was a beautiful play. Thank that was so a beautiful much. play. Thank so you can play to all the popular songs and all of that. You're going to do more for us on the show. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Right. Have you written any song yourself? Have you done any original? Do you freestyle? Mm, concerning me singing on, on the ground. No, on the job. Do you freestyle? Yes, I You know. freestyle a lot. So you do a freestyle for Amazing Kids Show. Okay. Okay. So I'll give you time to plan and then when we come back you just give me the freestyle boom you hit me hit me well all right amazing kids let's take our rhyme of the week this week's rhyme is twinkle twinkle little star how i want what's wrong with my boy i think they sang it better i'll be right back (laughs) thank you amazing kids show exclusive to rhythm fm and silver bear tv Amazing Kids Show, exclusive to Rhythm FM and Silver Bear TV. Welcome back, Amazing Kids. So, do you have any favorite rhyme? Favorite? Uh, while growing up, which one do you still remember that you love so much? I love the one you just played. The one I just played. You don't have another one. Uh, this one that just um, children of God. I'm so Christian. <laughs> okay, is that a rhyme? That's a song. That's a, that's a song. Okay. That, that's fine. It's okay if you don't have any favorite rhyme. Right? It's okay. It's okay. But you have a favorite song. Yes. Hope you're still preparing our freestyle. Mm-hmm. You're thinking about it. All right, amazing kids. Now it's time for us to take this week's story. And this week's story is titled The Wise child the wise child from the title you know there's a lot for you to learn from it so let's take the story and i will be right back amazing kids show exclusive to rhythm fm and silver Bear. okay welcome back amazing kids a fantastic story of the wise child what makes that child wise what do you think makes a wise child? What did you learn from the story? I learned that um, you should always be thankful, no matter the situation you have, you should always be thankful. 
um, the man was not actually grateful, was not thankful, always annoyed, and the child actually was wise. He was wise. The child was wise, and he showed the man what he should be grateful for. Mm-hmm. And when he realized it, he was also grateful and thankful and happy. So, what are the things that you think we should be grateful for? Everything we have, our family, for the gift of life, for you, for um, for food, for shelter, and everything we should just be grateful no matter the situation no matter what the situation is always be thankful appreciate what you have appreciate the people that love you appreciate the air that you breathe some people pay for the air that they breathe yes. some people cannot breathe freely so even before they can talk they need machines they need things to help them to speak they need things to help them to breathe you can't eat without any pain you can eat easily without them passing food through your nose that's something to be grateful for so i don't like to see kids that are ungrateful oh mommy we don't have this why don't we have this be thankful for the one you have ah oh, mommy my friend has this but i want that but why don't we have be thankful for the one you have and there's something about being thankful and gratitude gratitude opens doors when you're grateful for what you have then you have more yes and when you're grateful you'll be thankful for every little thing that anyone gives to you if at all anyone gives you and when someone sees that you're grateful it helps the person to even want to give you more so you see why it's very good to be grateful it's good to be grateful be thankful always live a life of gratitude and not complaint i'm going to open the phone line so that you can call in i know some of you are our number still see my lines are already buzzing beep, beep, beep. but when i pick up now you will not obey the rules <laughs> tell me you'll be good today okay i can hear you be good the rules you know already reduce the volume of your tv or your radio before you call in and make sure you are ready to call in i don't want to pick your call and then i'm here myself okay let me try to take this phone call if this person does not do well we're going to break <laughs> hello hello good good morning what's your name and where are you calling from my name is Elijah and i'm coming from god Joss, okay, yeah. fantastic. What did you learn from today's story? I learned that we should be honest. You should be honest, good. What else? Huh? What else did you learn? I learned that we should be honest and brave. You should be honest and brave. <laughs> did you really listen to my story? What's the title of the story? You see, you do not listen to my story. But okay, it's good to be honest and brave. But the story was telling us to be thankful. Okay? Be thankful for everything you have. Okay? Yes. Always be thankful. All right. Do you want to speak with our guest? Yes, ma'am. Okay, go ahead. She can hear you. Hello? Hello? She can hear you. Go ahead. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. you do not Thank ask you. Me how are you? Okay. Uh-uh. You don't even want to talk to my children. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you very you much for calling, weekend. my darling. Have a wonderful weekend, okay? Yes, bye. bye. Uh, he said hello. How are you? And he said you are fine. You're not asking how he did you. Uh, that's not nice. We don't do that here. <laughs> okay. Okay. I thought you wanted to say something to her, and I think that's why she paused to listen to you. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Ewa Jerry Eromase. Eromasele. Where are you calling from? I am calling from the main city. Bini City. All right. What did you learn from today's story? To be honest and truthful. To be honest and truthful. <laughs> Are you sure that's what you learned? Yes. 
Ah, my story says you should be thankful. My story did not say you should be honest, though. That was last week's story, yo. Oh. <laughs> okay. I want to speak with the guest. Okay, okay. speak with our guest. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, she can hear you. Hello. Hello, how are you? Okay. So, what do you want to tell me? I want to say that I love the way you play your sucky drum. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you for calling, Aroma Sele. Next time, pay attention to my story and give me what exactly you learned. Don't tell me what you learned from last week's story, okay? Okay. Bye. No. <laughs> Boy. Uh -uh. Honest and truthful. Where? All right, let's take this beautiful song. I love so much. Ah. Should I take one more call? All right, let's take one more call. And then we'll take a break. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Kusa. I'm calling from South South. Okay. A Lagos caller. Beautiful. What did you learn from the story? And then that we should be thankful for what we have. Fantastic! Finally, somebody is telling me exactly what the story taught us. <laughs> you should be thankful for what we have. So tell me, what are you thankful for today? Thank you. Thanks for what we have, like um, like something. No, no, no. Tell me your own. Have. Tell me your own personally. What are you thankful for today? Just tell me your own. Forget about the story. What are you thankful for today? I'm thanking God for my life. For your life. That's beautiful. Okay. Would you like to say anything else? No. All right. Thank you so much for calling and thank you for paying attention to the story. <laughs> okay. Have a wonderful weekend. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right. Um, so what we're going to do very quickly is to take this song and when we come back i'll take more calls okay um i want you to pay, think about the story again before you call in don't call me and tell me what you learned from last week's story i'm talking about today okay i'll be right back amazing kids show exclusive kids show exclusive to rhythm fm and silver bear tv Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Mona Chi and I'm coming from Toyola. From Ikaja. From Ikaja. Ikaja. Okay. Your name is what? What's your name again? Mona Chi. Mona Chi. All right, Mona Chi. What did you learn from the story? I learned that great food to it's very good to be happy for what God has done and gave you. Okay, fantastic. So tell me, what are you happy about today? Because you said happy. So what are you happy for or what are you happy about today? I'm happy of my family. You're happy, you're happy about your family. Fantastic. All right, do you want to tell me anything else? Would you like to speak with our guest? Yes. No. All right, Minachi. Thank you very much for calling. Bye. Bye-bye. So I have to... I have to speak in the same tone. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Um, let me take more calls and then we'll do our amazing kids show sister. Is that okay? Hello? Hello? Yes, good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? What is your name and where are you calling from? My name is Ibarayo. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Lagos. Okay. Um, can you reduce the volume of your TV or radio? Oh, 
All right, you have five seconds to do that, or I will have to end the call. All right, what did you learn from today's story? Hello. <laughs> Hello. My name is Betty. Phone, so so. Are you fighting for the phone? And don't tell her to shut um shut up. That's not nice. I learned to be grateful. Okay, you learned to be grateful. Can you apologize to her for telling her to shut up? Sorry. Okay, good. All right, you learned to be grateful. Tell me, what are you grateful for today? What are you grateful for today? Can you hear me? I am. My life is worthless. You said you learned to be grateful. So tell me personally, why why are you grateful? What are you grateful for today? Oh, where your eye is very noisy. I think that's why you can't hear me. So sorry about that. All right, there's something I want to play for you very quickly. Um, it's the Fruit Friends song. There's so many fruits that we have. And the next set of callers that we'll call in after this song will have to list five fruits for me. <laughs> so let's enjoy the fruit song and I will be right back. Amazing Kids Show. Exclusive to Rhythm FM and... Okay, welcome back. So are you ready to tell me five fruits? You're going to need five fruits for me. Hello? Hello. Hi, good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Khalid. Your name is what? Khalid. Okay, where are you calling from? Umasa. Where are you calling from? Umasa. Okay, I cannot hear you clearly, but it's fine. Khalid. Okay, 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 it's fine. What did you learn from today's story? Okay, Khalid, what did you learn from today's story? Khalid, can you hear me? Yes. What did you learn from today's story? To be thankful and grateful. You should not be ungrateful. Good, you should not be ungrateful. So tell me, Khalid, what are you grateful for today? Ouch. That was hurtful. How? How did that happen? So sorry, Khalid. You should be thankful and grateful. I'm happy that all of you got the point and you learned from the story. Should I take one more call before we take our freestyle? We have enough time. Hello? Hello? Yes, good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? What is your name? Okay, where are you calling from? Bini. All right. What did you learn from today's story? Can you speak louder? I cannot hear you. Good. Clap for yourself. How old are you? How old are you? You are 12 years. 12. Are you sure you are 12? Speak louder. I can't. You are 5 years. Okay. Thank you very much for calling. Take care of yourself and always be grateful, okay? Bye-bye. Love you too. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. All right, let's take our freestyle. You said you're going to do something for Amazing Kids Show, and we're here for it. Let's go. Well, I'm 
sorry to cut you. Can you take it while you play? So I know what you're playing. Um, maybe it, once I'm done talking, then I'll say it. Once you're done talking, then you say it. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay then. <laughs> So that's all. There's no amazing kids show there now. Eh, I should put your name in. Amazing kids show. I said you should do oh, something for amazing okay. kids show. And besides, ah. we don't understand. Not everybody understands Yoruba. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you want Maybe. to do something else that adds amazing kids? I'm sorry, I have to use you. <laughs> Maybe I should We're enjoying you, so we we have to let you do something for us. I that's why. Please use amazing kids show. Okay, I will learn. All right. Okay, my advice to you guys or to you all mm-hmm. is that once you have something you want to do, what you love doing, and you like you want to do this, don't let anything stop you. Don't let anything stop you. If you think that people will talk, because when I wanted to learn, people that discouraged me were there and mm-hmm. they're like, I'm a girl, what am I looking for? Mm-hmm. As you go and learn your dressing, tailor, like stuff like that. I was like, No, I don't want. So you have to know what you want for yourself and you stand on it that yes, this is what you want. And I'm going to tell you, it is going to pay, and you will love it. Mm. It's going to pay, and you will love it. Stand for what you want. Find out what you want. Stand for it, Mm -hmm. and you know, be determined. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Thank you so much. I want to learn to play something from you. Teach me after the show. Eh, No problem. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much, amazing kids, for staying tuned. Thank you, amazing parents. It's been fun with you this week, and I know the next week. It's gonna be better. Yes, so don't forget to tune into the Amazing Kids Show every Saturdays, 10 a.m. on Silverbird TV and Rhythm FM. It's gonna be a fun time, like always. My name is Victory Wilson, and I will see you next week. Don't forget, you deserve the very best. Never settle for less. Bye. Tell them bye bye now. Bye everyone. Bye bye. Go go go. Bye 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 bye. Bye bye, 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 Amazing bye, kids, bye bye. bye. <laughs> that was what I said. Amazing kids, bye.